I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. The House Judiciary Committee held a markup Thursday on the Protecting Our Kids Act. Following the Texas elementary school shooting, Republicans have suggested that Democrats are rushing the gun control legislation. Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia rebuffed that idea and argued that it had been 23 years since the Columbine school shooting. Listen in for her full explanation. And move to strike the last word, Mr. Chairman. The gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And for many of us in Texas, our souls are crushed, our hearts are broken, but many minds are wondering, why is this still happening? No, this is not rushing. No, it's not premature. 23 years have passed since Columbine, and the time is now to act. Enough is enough. We cannot allow another disgrace like what happened in Uvalde to tear apart one more community and to tear up more families. Jacqueline Casares, Makina Lee Elrod, Jose Manuel Flores, Ileana Garcia, Irma Garcia, Asaya Garcia, Ameri Joe Garza, Javier Lopez, JC Carmelo Loivamos, Tess Mata, Miranda Mathis, Eva Mireles, Elitaya Ramirez, Annabel Rodriguez, Maitai Rodriguez, Alexandria Lexi Rubio, Leila Salazar, Jayla Nicole Silgorio, Eliana Cruz Torres, Rogelio Torres. These are the names of the 19 children and two teachers innocent lives tragically lost. Children, now angels, watching us from above to see what we are doing. One young man pulled the trigger, but we all have failed them. America has failed them and the other thousands of children that have died as a result of gun violence. Republicans are complicit in Uvalde's negligence and neglect to responsibly address comprehensive gun reform. Republicans are complicit in the shooter in Buffalo for encouraging white supremacy and promoting replacement theory. Republicans are complicit of the lives lost at Pulse, Florida for their homophobic and anti-human rights narrative. Republicans are complicit in the massacre in El Paso for their anti-Latino, anti-immigrant narrative and for putting gun lobbying interests above people's lives. House Democrats stand with the victims and their loved ones. We stand to act for the people, not gun interests. We have been consistent. We are not rushing. We have already passed some bills. They're all solutions. They're not premature. We have passed reforms and measures to ensure that we're protecting our communities and most especially our little children, our angels. The community that was assaulted in here in Texas was a predominantly Latino community. So to my neighbors in Uvalde, I say this, no los vamos a olvidar. No vamos a olvidar los nombres y las caras de los 19 niños que perdieron su vida. No olvidamos los responsables de esta tragedia. Seguimos luchando hasta cuando ya pasemos reformas de la Alianza de Armas de Fuego. Gracias. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. With that, I yield back.